Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Earth Science screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And today we're going to go on to unconformities. When we last left off, we were looking at rock layers, putting them in order of oldest to youngest. And we looked at things as folding, faulting, and tilting coming after those rock layers were deposited through the law of original horizontality. And that intrusions, uh, we just have to be mindful for that they do still follow the same rules, but we have to look for where contact metamorphism is. Well, unconformities, they kind of throw a monkey wrench into things. They represent a gap in the geologic rock record. So the only thing that could erase rock records are basically going to be weathering and erosion. So weathering will break down the materials and erosion will pull that rock away. Or it could be a time of non-deposition. But typically we see it as erosional events, such as here. If we wanted to look for that unconformity, notice our rock layers are already layered for us. So oldest on the bottom, principal superposition, one, two, three, four. Over here, one, two, where's three? Must have been eroded away, four. Anytime we see a wavy line like this in between rock layers, that means there's an unconformity there. So in this situation, we can see that these rock layers are the same. Two is the same, one is the same. This lighter colored, it looks like a sandstone almost, was eroded away. And that's what's formed our unconformity. Closer look at it, we can see here, we have an unconformity, wavy line, but also here between sandstone and shale. Notice that it's an angled line. Law of original horizontality says this should be a straight line if it's a, if it's a sedimentary rock. Well, sorry, those are sedimentary rocks. So we have a problem. So this would be an unconformity also, something happened there. Here's what it looks like in real life. So if we look down, you can see tilted rock layers, all of a sudden something happened. Unconformity, erosional event, and layers on top. We can see it's clear right here. So these layers were actually put down horizont horizontally. Then they were tilted. Then there was an erosional event right here is our unconformity. And then notice the layers put up on top. So this region, this is our unconformity. Here's another angular unconformity, very similar to what we saw before. Notice the angle, these were all horizontal layers at some point, and then they were tilted. So there was a tilting event, erosion, or an unconformity, and then more deposition. We could sequence events like this. Um, I'll let you copy this diagram down and then put them in as you see them. So what we have is the oldest on the bottom, but because of the way they're tilted, we know that this is the oldest right here. So we have deposition of A, B, C, D, and E. They were then tilted. Then we have our unconformity. So that means we have erosion. And then we have more deposition of X. Notice the unconformity here. Then we have deposition of Y and Z. So that's the sequence of events. I would like you to copy this down. Uh, it's a good little uh, reference to kind of have as we go through these because we'll be doing more of this. And I think that's about it for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.